Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to make the drill bit model in part design workbench of the FreeCAD. So let's open the FreeCAD workbench, you part workbench and here we have uh, primitive, this primitive helix. Let's make these parameters from our draft, okay set the height 140 and 4 yes how you can see this is helix uh, and now now uh, we have to change the workbench to part design and create model and we have to tra transport our helix to body model okay and we have now base future and now we can work with part design workbench Let's create the sketch on this plan. So let's make the circle. It will be four millimeters radius. And now we have our sketch to the sketch. And let's make uh, the extrude operation for this. It's called pad parameters, but pad, pad operation. Let's set this value. And now we have this cylinder and this helix. So let's create the sketch on this face. In front view, you can see it. Okay, and we have this point for our circle, new circle. We have to create it. Okay, let's change the center of this circle. Uh, we have to set the center. On four millimeters in X direction position. Okay, let's set the radius of this circle. And now we have this circle for creation another operation. Uh, it will be loft operation um, no it will be sweep operation for the toggle and for the helix so let's choose this icon uh, let's choose the profile it will be okay the sweep will be helix and profile will be toggle okay let's make the okay and So now uh, we have to make the circle array, polar array, it's called here. And let's choose the base Z axis. And how can you see? The drill bit looks good. Okay. So now uh, we have to add uh, some detail for our drill bit. Uh, it have to be this part. Let's make the sketch on this face. Uh, let's make the export external edge to our sketcher because we can use this line for creation another part of the sketch for example this circle so let's close the sketch and <coughs> mm -hmm.
sorry, this uh, was false because we have to create the sketch uh, where we have our helix. It another side, this face. So let's create the sketch on the face. Another sketch. Uh, let's okay uh, let's export this fa uh, this H from external geometry and uh, let's make the toggle based on three points okay looks good so let's close the sketch and delete the previous sketch and now we have the helix and sketch with toggle uh, for this we have to create the plane this plane will be normal to our helix uh, no sorry uh, we have to make the planner but it have to be tangent to our helix so let's choose our edge and we have to choose this helix and make the tangent condition for this let's make the ok and for this plan we have to create this sketch and let's make the line this line is tangent for the helix ok let's make the extrude operation based on sweep no this is ex uh, just extrude we have to make this sweep yes this profile and this pass for sweep okay so l so now it looks nice let's make the array for this future based on zx and let's make the ok we have to hide datum plane and so now it looks very good we have to make the refine for delete the some edges on and create solid body so um, another detail for this uh, drill bit we have to make uh, in some angle in input part yes so let's make the triangle uh, so this it will be vertical condition constraint condition So and we have to set angle for two lines. Now this falls. Because we have this line, so let's uh, make again it. Uh, no. Oh, this is because we have this uh, false in constraints. Yes, we have to delete this and set the angle for our lines, for both lines and set our value, it will be forty-five, I think. Yeah, looks good. And let's set the vertical line for these two points and set vertical condition, okay. Uh, so now uh, we have to make the revolve operation for this sketch we can do it with this it and we can choose base this z-axis so it looks good but let's change uh, angle some smaller value let's make 30 I think yeah, uh, looks more 
good okay uh, let's make the sketch on this plan and create the box and set the vertical for two points uh, of course for two points we have to set the number three and let's make the extrude for the sketch it's red extrude pocket called in free cat part design workbench okay uh, let's set 20 millimeters length for this extrude operation and let's polar array for this future for that axis okay so how you can see uh, we have to make as uh, the uh, drill bit model uh, let's make the refined true so thank you for watching subscribe